COVID-19 pandemic has dramatically now increased the demand for pets as people seek a way to ease loneliness. Yeah, but with the demand for more puppies, there has been a spike in pet scams as people search online for a new dog. You just hate to hear this. WATE 6 on your side. Consumer reporter Don Dare sat down with a young Knoxville woman who recently found the perfect pup <laughs> online. She sure did, Lori. It was a cute and cuddly Labrador puppy, and it was a real deal. The price of the lab retriever for sale out of Houston, Texas, was about a third of what a reputable breeder would charge. An immediate red flag right there. Plus, there were a lot of other little goodies thrown into the online ad, which would pique the interest of a lot of families seeking to buy a purebred lab. Milo. <gasps> Hi. Hi, big boy. Charnay Llewellyn Wright and her children enjoy their new rescue puppy, Milo. The family recently picked up the playful six-month-old. That was just weeks after seeing online a yellow Labrador retriever much like this one. That's when Charnay contacted the breeder. I found a website called CuddlyLabradors.com, and I found a puppy on there that was eight weeks old. Her name was Daphne. She was very cute, and so I messaged the company to see to get information on adopting her. Daphne is purebred and very well tempered. All correspondence with the breeder from Texas came through email messages. She looked like she'd fit very well with our family, um, so I decided to get some more information. What did you find out? Um, I found out that she was $500, which was about $300 to $500 less than what you usually find on most um, breeding sites. They said that they would cover the airplane fare for her. They had a voucher for puppies traveling across the states on the airplane. So I was going to get her transportation fees were going to be at no cost. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. And, uh, Have so you ever heard of that? No. But she had to act fast to take advantage of the free flight for the pup. Fortunately for you, we cur currently have one last free shipping coupon from our shipping agent. The breeder wrote that they had applied for AKC registration, but when Charnay asked for more detailed information, there was silence. They wouldn't respond in regards to the vet references. We also asked about the parents. Um, we didn't get any information on them either. So I tried calling the company, um, and when I called them, I repeatedly received a voicemail system that sounded like a robot. As for payment, the breeder didn't want either credit card or money card, but something faster and safer, Charnay was told. So the payment they wanted me to pay by Zelle. Uh, pardon me? By Zelle. Um, the, it's kind of like a cash app or a Venmo. Zelle and Cash App are fast and free ways to send and receive money with the people you know and trust. But Tony Binkley at the BBB says those payment systems have become popular for scammers to use. Typically they've used gift cards, things like that, but now they're going to Cash Apps or Zelle or diff different types of Cash Apps where the money is getting transferred instantly uh, right from your bank to their bank through, a, through an app and it's gone. When you send it via Cash App, it's gone out of your bank account and you're not going to get it back. Because Charnay wasn't comfortable with the form of payment and lack of information, the deal was off. Recently, the IP address for the Labrador website was changed, adding to her suspicion. Puppy scams have spiked over the last few years. In 2017, the BBB received nearly 900 cases reported. Two years later, in 2019, the numbers had doubled to nearly 1,900. A year later, in 2020, the number of puppy scams doubled again to near 4,000. I think it's successful. The scammers are being successful. And then when COVID came along, it made it even more possible and, and uh, because pets wanted uh, something in their house for comfort because they couldn't leave the house. Here's a cuddly Labrador, huh? Mm -hmm. Rather than going to a breeder, Charnay decided to go ahead and purchase a rescue pup. There's a lot of dogs who need homes in the area. Find a local shelter and adopt. While puppies remain the most common bait in pet scams, 12% of scam complaints to the Better Business Bureau are about kittens or cats. Federal Trade Commission reports its data shows that scams involving kittens have more than doubled since 2017. Whether it's a kitty or a puppy, the best advice is to buy local and make sure you see the animal before making any payment. Bo? Definitely. All right, Don, thank you. And hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, Go ahead and send them an email at ddare at wat.com. You can also call a six on your side hotline. The number is 865-633-5974.